Are there things that could stop us from putting injection foam into your walls? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to discuss a few factors that can make your house not suitable for using injection foam in the exterior walls. Now before we get into these three things, please go below, hit that like button for us. Number one, there's existing insulation inside the cavities already. Now, keep in mind, if there's existing insulation in those walls, a lot of times we can still put foam in there, no problem. We put foam in with fiberglass and cellulose all the time, even foam insulation sometimes. Now again, it will all depend on how thick it is, what the consistency is like inside that cavity. It's probably not a problem. We can probably put foam in with it, no problem. However, there is a slight chance that it can obstruct the process. Number two, if there's no sheathing underneath the siding on the exterior walls. So if there's no sheathing underneath the siding of the walls, we cannot use injection foam. What will happen is it will cause the siding to bow on every stud cavity and it will look terrible. So for that reason, and also it won't allow the foam to set up properly for a long list of reasons, overexposed to air, all those kind of things. So again, it is not a good application if you have no sheathing on the exterior walls. And number three, if there is no stud cavity inside the wall. Now you really only see this problem with brick or block houses, and that's usually when the block or the brick is right next to the outside layer of block or brick. So what will happen is we go to drill in and we notice we've gotten through that first layer and you go right into the second layer. In that instance, obviously there's no place for us to put the foam. So the unfortunate thing about some of these cases is you oftentimes as a homeowner do not know that this is what's going on in your walls. So what we do, if we ever notice these things, the first thing we do is grab the homeowner, hey, come out, check out what's going on, let me explain to you what's going on, what we're seeing, and that, you know, hey, unfortunately in this case, we may not be able to complete the job as planned. So just some things to keep in mind. If you find any of these things for your exterior walls, make sure you share it with your contractor. Sometimes something can still get worked out and you can maybe just tweak the approach a little bit and still insulate those walls. But like I said, sometimes it's not an option. So just be aware and make sure you communicate with your contractor. If you want to learn more about potential complications in injecting your exterior walls, please check out the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to see all of our notifications.